Capricorn, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're going to be looking at past, present, future energies and love for you. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you and leave the rest. Check out your other placements as well. I have a list of playlists in my description box for each sign. So you can check those out. So let's jump right in for Capricorn spirits guides what messages guidance do we have for capricorn what's going on for them in love what's going on for capricorn for capricorn in love okay we start off with unhealthy attachment unhealthy attachments are causing difficulty what's going on for capricorn in love patiently waiting and looking inward so we started off with unhealthy attachments. So this could be you, this could be your person. Um, that's gonna be the theme for this reading. It could be you, it could be the person that you have been dealing with, are dealing with, or could be dealing with in the near future. Um, someone has been dealing with an unhealthy attachment and I feel like they've been patiently waiting for the right time to do something about this. And they've been reflecting, looking inward, planning their next steps. And I think it's is, is around this unhealthy attachment. This attachment could be some sort of um, family situation, addiction, negative way of thinking, uh, negative behavior traits, karmic partnerships, um, past partnerships that are unhealthy, um, an unhealthy environment. You get the drill. It can mean a few things. <laughs> so I feel like someone has been possibly planning things thinking about this and wanting to do something about it. So let's see what we get with the tarot. What do we need to know for Capricorn? Past, present, and future energies for Capricorn when it comes to love. Past, present, future energies when it comes to love. What do we need to know? Past energies. Four of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Cups reversed. The Star reverse. Aquarius energy. Wow. Bottom of the deck, we have judgment. Oh, this is the overall energy. So, second chances, um, resurrections, revivals, looking back at the past, learning from the past in order to move towards the future. After judgment comes the world. So let's get some clarity here on what this judgment card is all about. What do we need to know, Spirit? Any clarity regarding these energies? Clarity or insight please. for Capricorn. Tell me about judgment. Tell me about judgment. Why is judgment here for Capricorn? And in this deck, judgment is kind of like a phoenix turkey, a peacock. <laughs> um, I, I think of a phoenix every time I see this card. Four of Pentacles, holding on to something, holding, holding tightly to something. Um, Refusing to let go. Okay, tell me about judgment. What else do we need to know about judgment? Three of Wands. Yeah, someone's waiting. I feel like this is somebody that they... <sighs> the Ace of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. So they're waiting for a new beginning. This is someone that's probably dealing with a karmic situation because they have unhealthy attachments, they have judgment. Um, a situation where they've been possibly holding on to something they shouldn't be holding on to. Let's see, what's this Four of Pentacles? They could also be holding back. What, why is the Four of Pentacles here? And why is the Four of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Hangman. This is somebody that has not been taking action. 
that has been stuck. Now with the hangman and judgment, this is someone getting clear messages, um, uh, having a personal awakening, seeing the bigger picture, seeing things from a different angle, and having realizations because of that. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? Why is the Three of Wands here? Oh, I got two. Six of Cups. Four of Wands. Wow. Soulmate energy. For sure here with the uh, Six of Cups and the Three of Wands. It's like someone's been waiting for a soulmate. Waiting for stability or wanting stability here with the Four of Wands. Happiness, bliss. Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is someone's, what they hope the future holds for them. What they're, when they look towards the future, this is what they hope for. Six of Cups, Four of Wands. This could be marrying their soulmate or being with a soulmate, meeting a soulmate, etc., etc., etc. So that's what's happening here in the first. That's the overall energy, I guess. I, the overall energy of love relationships for you, Capricorn. Someone's thinking about the future, analyzing their past, and thinking about the future. And they've been stuck in the past and they've been stuck somewhere that they don't want to be stuck in page of wands ten of pentacles yeah someone's thinking about success long-term stability but the three of swords is at the bottom here so it's almost like it hasn't happened for them that they're waiting for this this could be you or your person so why is the four of pentacles reverse i find that interesting that this is what's happening or what's in the recent past is that someone has opened no longer holding back, no longer holding on to something, and that their arms are open <clears throat> and empty. Why is the Four of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Four of Pentacles reverse? Ten of Wands, why is the Four of Pentacles reverse? The Chariot. Yeah, I feel like this is someone leaving. Yeah. They're 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 dropping the baggage, dropping, you know, all of this to move past it with the chariot cancer energy they want to leave this behind or have left this behind and go somewhere that's more like a path towards success and i feel like all they've dealt with is feelings of i don't know it's, it's almost like um it's too much where they've been is too much drama conflict people not getting along not being able to work together nothing gets done nothing progresses Someone is feeling like this is just a weight on their shoulders and they're tired and overwhelmed or just exhausted with the Ten of Wands. And so I feel like this is somebody that just wants to move on in a whole different direction with the Chariot. So why is the Queen of Cups reversed? I feel like this is what someone is feeling right now. Maybe their intuition is blocked. Maybe their emotions are a little bit all over the place. Maybe their their judgment is blocked because they're too emotional, we'll see. Queen of Cups reverse could also be someone that's heartbroken, disappointed. Um, this could also be someone depressed. Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? Page of Swords. Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? The Emperor, Aries energy. Interesting. Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? The Tower. The Moon at the bottom of the deck. Wow, the Moon with the Tower. Pisces energy. Well, something's definitely happening here. Um, the tower and the moon tells me that whatever was hidden, whatever was un an illusion, whatever was beneath the surface is out now. There's been a revelation. There's been a shakeup. 
someone has information with the Page of Swords or maybe they observed something they didn't want, they probably didn't. It's almost like someone found something out. Page of Swords, the Tower, the Emperor. And it was very disappointing, heartbreaking, you know. Maybe you, you or someone else had figured out that someone has been lying to you the whole time or that someone was keeping a huge secret from you. And a tower happened. Now the star reverse is in the near future energy. So someone's feeling a bit hopeless or needing to heal. Um, maybe they're losing faith. Wow, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, someone here could be um, you or this person. Whoever's going through this tower, they are needing to heal. They're needing to kind of pick up the pieces here with the star reverse. Why is the star reverse? The Knight of Swords? Why is the star reverse? Why is the star reverse? The High Priestess, yeah. Why is the star reverse? Again, these are very opposite energies. Um, Knight of Swords and the High Priestess is reminding me of the Tower and the Moon. This is someone that their intuition has been a bit rocked. Um, it's almost like this is somebody who the truth smacked them in the face. Um, whatever this was, Capricorn, it was big. It was a big realization that someone's had. Judgment. Tell me more about the star reverse. Can I get one more? Why is the star reverse? Yep, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, yep. So... I feel like what's happening here the for the Capricorns that I'm reading for, you found something out or your person found something out and it's kind of rocked your world a little bit. Um, something's no longer hidden, something's no longer an illusion, um, the bubble has burst. Now I don't know if this is something that happened in an existing connection between you and another person or if this is happening outside of your connection. but. It's affecting your love life, Capricorn. That's that's why it's showing up. Someone has clarity now. Someone knows the truth. The tower came to give someone an awakening that they probably really needed. And now I feel like this person is looking back. Whoever's found this out is looking back at the past and being like, how did I miss that? You know, maybe the this clarity with the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Swords, maybe this message or information that's coming in will help someone figure out exactly what this mess was all about and help them heal. Tell me about the King, um, not the King, the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. What's this about with the Knight of Swords? And the Ace of Swords. What do we need to know, Spirit, about these energies? Two of Cups. So this is definitely about a connection. This is probably talking things out with someone or the truth about a connection. This is probably somebody coming clean as well. Whatever they kept hidden, they're, they're revealing it now. Can I get one more for the Two of Swords? And get one more for the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords? Yep, Knight of Cups. This could be somebody apologizing to you. The Knight of Pentacles is there, making you some sort of an offer. I think this is somebody saying, you know, telling you the truth about something. So this could this could be a positive thing or this could be a negative thing. Honestly, it's going to depend on your situation. Um because I feel this the star is reversed. That's the main energy. So someone feels like they really need to still heal. They are feeling like they've lost faith or hope. Maybe this is somebody feeling hopeless. You know? So, you know, another message I'm getting here too with judgment and all of this energy up here. It's that someone's probably thinking, well, what's my future going to be like now? Because I thought I knew what it was going to look like. And now that all of this is happening, I'm not so sure. This could also be that maybe you had to let go of something in the past. 
so that you could have what you want in the future in exchange. Because judgment leads to the world. Judgment always leads to the world. That's how it works. And the world is all about closing chapters and starting new ones, closing cycles and starting new ones. So the overall energy being judgment, you know, I can't just think that someone's coming in to fix things and then, you know, maybe they are and you'll you'll start a new cycle with them. But it could be a possibility that there this is not something that is fixable because the truth is very powerful. This truth is very powerful. It's about a connection and I feel like it was a tower, so it was very difficult and unexpected. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, as always, you know, keep in mind these are general. Uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.